In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to run cover four quarters uh, against the gun bunch meta in Madden 22. And I'm going to be showing you why I believe the Big Nickel over G is the best defense equipped to defend the meta out of the bunch formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name's Cody. We do strategy videos like this every single day to help you get better on offense or defense in Madden. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I'd really encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's free to do that. And uh, it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest strategies and tips that we release here every single day. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be talking specifically today about how we can take care of the bunch in front and, and most importantly, the crossing route from verticals and um, showing you just kind of a, a nice little trick to combat this. Now, Big Nickel over G, I just did a update in my Patreon um, about an hour long, or an hour and a half, I'm sorry, breaking down the Big Nickel over G defense and why I believe it is um, kind of topped the nickel normal. Actually, I think it's actually better in, in a couple of, for a couple of specific reasons. But if you want to go take a look at that, my whole Big Nickel over G defense is in the Patreon. The cool part is the Nickel Normals there as well, as is all of our other um, eBooks. You can get all of my Madden strategy guides by becoming a member, and it's only $10 a month to sign up. And it also allows you to get access to our weekly updates where we break down just different pro tips and just different high-level content uh, for you if you want to get better at the game. So let's take a look at the Big Nickel over G, and, and particularly we're going to be breaking down the cover four quarters um, against the gun bunch. Now, the Big Nickel over G is famous for having these really different, um, whoops, I'm sorry, uh, different adjustments. Actually, first things first, let me show you my coaching adjustments. My coaching adjustments for this defense, I'm going to put auto flip off, auto alignment to base align. Ball and air defense can be on balance or play ball or play receiver, any of those three. And then option defense, I'm gonna put that on conservative. Now, something really important about this formation before we come out in it, if you want it to be like a traditional nickel normal type of formation, go ahead and flick your right joystick to the left one time. And what that will do is it gives you the slot corner package. Now you can sub in whoever you want at that position, but the slot corner package makes it, kind of returns it into that four two. Uh, that nickel normal concept where you have the corner back the slot corner adjustments like vertical hook and um, curl flat and all that what I like to do is I actually like to run it as it is um, majority of the time and what that will do is it'll treat that slot corner like he's a safety in this defense so he's gonna get um, some kind of cool safeties adjustments all the safeties will uh, in this defense the left side safety the right side safety and then the slot corner kind of safety and so I just think that's a really cool little deal so that's how you turn it on or turn it off in this formation and then what I like to do is I like to pinch my D line now um, for a shed from a sheds perspective uh, if you're going to run a shed or more coverage based defense um, this is how I would recommend it go ahead and shit um, uh, I'm sorry crash your lineup so pinch your line crash your lineup show blitz now, notice that this slot corner comes into this spot right here. That's one of the real beauties of the base align with this. And then what I like to do is move this guy in, kind of fake like I'm blitzing him. And then really important here, what I like to do is bring this safety down and I'm gonna put him into a deep half to the right. And then I am going to personally user this three red hook defender. And then what I like to do from there is I'll take this middle linebacker on the left side of the screen and you could do a couple different things with him. Um, I like to man him up on the tight end for wheel routes normally. Um, so I'm gonna man him up on, on the tight end for a wheel. You can shade your coverage over the top. What that'll do is just turn that quarter flat into a curl flat. And then from there, um, I'm gonna blitz my user, put a bluff blitz on the bunch side, and then on the left side, we're gonna run a vert hook or a curl flat. And if there's a running back wheel, I'm gonna kind of go guard it. But what you'll see with this, and why I love this defense, is if they run the verticals play, I want you to watch this safety that's in this inside quarter as he came down right here. So I'm not gonna, don't worry about the wheel as much. I just want you to watch this safety. You see he literally runs directly at the crosser and guards it all the way across the formation for an absolute bag. So it bags the verticals crosser, which is really, really good. Now the other thing that this defense does, you don't have to move him inside by the way. 
Um, if you want to save yourself an adjustment, you don't have to do that. You'll see here, he'll go to it. But what I would really, really strongly recommend because of the way that this formation um, plays, I would really, really recommend deep halving this guy. And the reason why are twofold. First, it's going to help significantly with any bombs from the bunch side. Secondly, it's going to help this guy know that this defender over here is not going to come across and it's going to put more of a priority on this inside quarter to do that job of carrying um, or poaching the crossing route. So you see here again goes and now he guards it much better than he did last time as you can see. Now, the other thing that I want to really quickly point out about this and why this is such a good defense for a bunch, one of the, um, let me just show this real quick. So I'm going to press coverage. I'm just going to like unbase the line and press. And if they just streak circle, a lot of times you'll see circle can bomb this coverage over the top for a one play score. As you see right there, he gets over the top of the coverage. What I love about Big Nickel over G is if we show blitz, and I like to be base aligned for this too but it doesn't even matter. If I'm not base aligned and I show blitz, you see they're gonna be about the same spot. But I want you to watch now. So now that this guy is backed up a little bit, what you'll see from this verticals play is if I streak Godwin, even without that deep half, he will actually be able to recover on this, on this route, as you see right there, and he's able to take it away. Now it doesn't solve some of our other problems from this formation. I'll just show you a couple of quick examples, um, just in terms of how Bunch can bomb match so let me give you one um, or i guess i did have it in the audibles so dig return and then we'll go we'll go through bunch trail shortly and then i'm going to come out in verticals so again cover four quarters show blitz and the dig return bomb i think is probably the best one they just streak this guy you'll see right here that it it's better than it is if you press but it's you see I can get it over the top. So what I like to do in to combat that is I can do a couple things. I love to bring this guy down. I really believe in bringing this guy down and either usering this guy or usering this guy. And it's honestly up to you because remember this guy gets safety adjustments. So if I wanted to, I could put this guy in a curl flat, Davis. I could user Savage and then I could put that safety that's the slot corner into a middle third. And I'll just show you really quickly here. I'm gonna blitz this guy just to kind of give the look of the play. Why I suggest this is if they go to that bomb out of dig return, that middle third will help on post routes. And then here he does get bumped, but you see that the other guy recovers much faster too. He got bumped by the curl flat, which can happen. But when you have this middle third come from the slot corner, I just find that it's really good. Um, I just find that it's really good and if you want to leave this, you know I wouldn't I would put this guy in a curl flat and then I would have this in a bluff blitz here But anyways, let me just show you one more time on dig return They can't pass lead this open Like they normally would be able to If my guy would stop running into him <laughs> if my guy would stop running into him, just move him in just a little bit or You know you you can kind of get around this, you know again. It's being a little weird in this video, but show you so show blitz let's just take this linebacker and just kind of move him inside just to give a little bit just to try to show this concept but this middle third from the slot i the reason i'm i'm doing this and not just middle thirding the linebacker is if they run this play they can't like they're gonna they're gonna try to pass lead that to the right and notice that the slot corner won't really let that happen as you can see right there or the slot safety so if you wanted a middle third, um, another reason why that would be helpful, and let's just say in this example, you know, I mean, I let's just say, you could put this guy in the middle third too, by the way. Like you could just put Savage in the middle third if you want to, and I'll show that. The reason I'm suggesting a middle third is because if they go to bunch, um, if they go to um, bunch trail, which is a lot of people's favorite match beater, this post is gonna get like quadruple teamed. So you see the inside quarter will cut it off and the skinny post will cut it off every single time. So that's one of my favorite little deals about this. And again, you can do this 
by putting this guy in the zone or you could put this guy just bring him down or you could put the linebacker if you wanted to like just leave this linebacker out here put him in the middle third it just come make sure it comes from the bunch side that's the real big important piece and you'll still what's really cool about it is you'll still be able to really play this crosser from verticals like perfectly as you can see right there really good coverage on verticals so this is kind of my favorite defense right now for defending bunch um the wheel routes i didn't get into that too much in this video we'll talk about that in a future video but again just i i can't i cannot overstate how good this right here really is and then on this back side this is how i pretty much handle wheel routes i just cross man it with this guy and then i have the curl flat here for the running back to kind of just give me a chance to get over there with my user if you will and then i've got a three wreck that's going to receive the running back if the running back comes across the formation and then I've got the, you know, the curl flat to this other player. So if I'm getting wheel routed to death, this is kind of my favorite play. And then I'm just going to go over here. And if I try to throw that tight end wheel, that's a safety coming over and man to man on. So I hope this video helped. This is just a, one of my favorite defenses I've been running lately against Bunch out of Big Nickel. And this is, um, oh, I, I did want to mention this real quick. The other, the reason why we want to, um, I'm sorry guys if you stay if you stay through this you're gonna get a real cool tip so the reason why we want to move this guy in if we have it if we can get this adjustment off is out of quarters we can actually blitz this guy he's like only I mean you could basically use the cross here yourself if you wanted to if they run verticals so we're still gonna get a really nice coverage to this left side here I'm still gonna deep half this guy to the right side and then I'm still you could even bluff blitz this guy if you wanted to over here but what I like to do um, is still cross man the tight end, just like this. And I'm just gonna not have this three wreck. And what you'll see is this is one of the best blitzes in the game. This contained rush is so good. And the cool part about it is, as you saw there, it's going to beat a blocked running back. And I'm pretty sure because we slide this guy in, just enough to get him on the contain, what you'll see a lot of times happen with this is if they max protect, I find that this blitz still is fairly decent. Um, you might get a quick shed if you don't get a complete, uh, a complete pressure. But just something simple. And um, you know, again, this is and the, this is why I like to base align this defense because it puts me in a really, really nice alignment, a really advantageous alignment for this. And like I said, if they're going to max protect, you see that's max protect bunch, and we're sending five, and we're coming in every single time. Thank you for watching the video. Please, I would really encourage you, um, if you want to learn more about this defense, you really need to get in our Patreon membership because we've got a ton of material in there already about this defense, and I've got a ton more coming. Um, this is probably going to be my defense for the rest of the Madden 22 season. Uh, this is a really, 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 really good formation. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to check out my defensive ebook on this, the link is in the description.